They say football is a funny old game, but in fact, it's a complicated game with a ton of rules and 85% of fans admit they don't fully understand the intricacies of the beautiful game. So here's my guide for making sure that when you tell the referee exactly what you think of them, your points will be factually correct. The back pass rule came into effect in 1992. In most cases, the keeper can pick the ball up inside their own penalty area, but they have to go hands-free if a teammate deliberately passes the ball back. They throw the ball to the keeper from a throw-in or after a keeper has released the ball following a save. Getting it wrong could be a very silly and costly mistake. The ref blows the whistle. A free kick is awarded, but how do you know if it's direct or indirect? The simplest way is if the referee raises their hand horizontally, it's a direct free kick, given for a number of reasons, including excessive force, handball, reckless play, or any other player on or off the pitch disrupting play. An indirect free kick is less serious and awarded when the ref raises their arm vertically and could be for playing in a dangerous way or even if a foul wasn't committed. Abusive language, impeding an opposing player or keeper, and all sorts of general illegal play. The difference between the two is simple. You can't shoot directly at the goal from an indirect free kick, whereas you're allowed to score from a direct free kick. Whether or not you do so is down to you. There are plenty of rules for the goalkeeper to abide by. Did you realise it was illegal for a goalkeeper to roll up his sleeves or wear a short sleeve shirt. Why? Well, it's so that when punching the ball in a crowd, the referee can easily identify the goalkeeper's hands. However, it's a rule that has been recently relaxed. A keeper can't shake or kick the post during a penalty, and once the keeper has handled the ball, they have six seconds to release it, or an indirect free kick is awarded. The only time the rule doesn't apply is if the keeper is in the process of stopping the ball going into the net, which is their job after all. Avoiding a foul throw is relatively simple. Here's what you need to know. A throw in must be taken exactly where the ball went out of play. Part of both feet must be on the ground. Don't step over the touchline. Both hands must be on the ball with it passing over your head. Once thrown, the player who threw it can't touch it until it's touched another player. Don't waste time and make sure the opponents are at least two meters back. And if you throw it and it rolls into the goal untouched, it's a goal kick to save the goal line celebrations for another time, eh? Can you legally score a goal from a throw-in? Well, the simple answer is no. However, if a player throws it towards the goal and it comes off the goalkeeper, then the goal stands. One of the only times a keeper should stand well back and let the ball find the back of the net. The new Samsung Neo QLED 8K has been designed for you to create an unparalleled viewing experience. With this innovative design, redefined sound quality and advanced innovation, football has never been so clear.